A consultation by the House of Lords in 2018 revealed that, quote, there is a real confusion in terms of terminology with terms such as modular, off-site, prefabrication, modern methods of construction, volumetric and panelized all being used. So this is why we will go through some key terms as they will be used in the remaining modules and videos. So we will start with modern methods of construction or MMC for short. MMC includes older approaches that aim to optimize the construction process to obtain better products in less time. This can mean, for example, any building method that improves efficiency, quality or environmental performance. In this way, MMC includes but are not limited to off-site construction. Instead, off-site construction is a way to achieve MMC. Off-site, on the other hand, is a construction method that adds substantial value to a product via the manufacture and pre-assembly of components, elements or modules in a factory before installation in the final location. So off-site is all about transferring some of the building works to a factory. There are four main categories of off-site construction. Subassemblies and components, panelized systems, volumetric systems and hybrid systems. These can be in any material, steel, concrete, timber or indeed a hybrid material. Subassemblies and components are pre-manufactured elements you will be familiar with, such as stairs, doors, windows, eye joists or steel elements. Panelized systems consist of wall panels and floor cassettes which may or may not have a structural function. Open panels are typically without insulation and include only the structural elements and if applicable sheeting on one side. Closed panels include insulation, sheeting on both sides and a service zone and can also have internal lining, external cladding, windows and doors fitted in the factory. Whereas SIPs or structurally insulated panels are solid insulation sandwiched with glue between two layers of oriated strand boards or OSB for short. Volumetric systems represent three-dimensional units that enclose a usable space, often also called modular. They are typically fully finished internally and can also be finished externally and include several rooms. Pods are a smaller, non-structural type of volumetric system which are often used for bathrooms or plant rooms, especially in hotels and student accommodation. Hybrid systems cover a wide variety of construction techniques where different systems or materials are used in combination. Where did off-site construction originate from? Off-site is not anything new and it can be traced back to the Middle Ages when carpenters would often assemble the frames of buildings in the yards to ensure that all elements fitted together. The frames were then marked and dismantled to be transported to sites and reassembled. This system was known as crook frame. In the 19th century, this technique developed into the familiar timber balloon and platform framing. In the 1830s, John Manning, a London carpenter and builder, pioneered the Manning Cottage, a timber house that was standardized and designed to be transported overseas and assembled by unskilled workers. Then, during the Crimean War in the 1850s, British engineer Isambard Kingdom Brunel designed the Renkoy Hospital. The timber frame structure was manufactured in the UK, flat packed, shipped and assembled on site by unskilled workers in under six months. In the 1970s, the Nakaging Tower Capsule Hotel, the first of its kind, was constructed in Tokyo, Japan. It was designed for business people in the city who needed a simple overnight housing solution. Each of the capsule modules was designed to be disconnected from the central core for replacement or maintenance. Later on in the 1980s, a German engineer conceived the first forms of mass timber construction by laminating wooden planks together with nails, screws or dowels to form a mass timber panel. So we have shown that off-site construction is not new, it has been around since at least the Middle Ages. Today it is applicable across sectors including housing, education, hospitals, infrastructure such as bridges and roads. But why would you build using off-site construction? There are six key drivers 
behind the use of off-site construction in the UK. The leading one is sustainability, where off-site can help with waste materials reduction and integration into the circular economy. The second is regulatory, such as international protocols. The third driver is digitization, with emphasis on building information modeling. Productivity is also an important driver and lean optimization can be used in off-site manufacturing. The fifth driver is human capital or people with the need for more apprenticeships. The final driver is culture with the need for more collaborative working practice. Off-site construction offers many benefits. The factory environment provides a cleaner and safer place of work. Production is more efficient, therefore performances are enhanced. The factory environment guarantees higher quality, more predictable time scales, better performance with fewer defects and higher customer satisfaction. The optimised use of materials allows for reduction of waste. The application of building information modelling and automation allows for quality control through virtual reality and augmented reality. The design process for off-site construction systems can be described as front-loaded. With off-site construction, we often use an approach known as DFMA. This is Design for Manufacturing and Assembly. This includes manufacturing process and standard sizing limitations, dimensional tolerances of the chosen off-site system, transportation restrictions, supply chain, manufacturing capacity, and site-specific restrictions. We have some examples of off-site construction from across the UK, firstly looking at a high-rise building in London. Known as the Cheese Grater, designed in 2014 by architects Roger Stark Harbour and Partners, with Arup being the engineers, the building was a combination of steel and concrete with highly prefabricated components manufactured in Ireland and Northern England. The superstructure was constructed in a very short time of approximately seven days per floor, 48 floors in total within 11 months. Moving north to Glasgow, this mid-rise apartment building in Erlersley Road, it is the tallest timber building in Scotland and was completed in 2017. The project was led by CCG and designed by Mast Architects. It was built using cross-laminated timber, which was manufactured in Germany. It took 16 weeks to install the CLT and the project won the Structural Timber Award 2018. Off-site is not one way of building. Off-site is not limited to one material. Off-site is not one building type. Off-site combines a range of materials, products and building types. Off-site is efficient. Off-site is a safe and clean environment. Off-site uses modern technology. Off-site is adaptable to clients' needs. Off-site requires collaborative working in teams. Congratulations, well done on completing the Off-site Fundamentals video. To find out